While Phil's accuracy is up for debate, the groundhog is believed to be intelligent and have other benefits. Yeah, this is very interesting. For more, we are joined by Newswatch 16's Allie Gallo. Good morning, Allie. We're so excited about your story. Oh, good morning, Minnie and John. So frogs, sharks, birds, they're all believed to be able to sense barometric pressure changes. And dogs, they're believed to have such a good sense of smell that they can smell the metallic in a thunderstorm. Groundhogs don't necessarily have any forecasting abilities, but they actually are very smart. Phil has seen a shadow predicting six more weeks of winter, a total of 107 times since the tradition began in 1887. He forecasted an early spring just 20 times, most recently in both 2019 and 2020. This is the only time Phil predicted an early spring back-to-back -back years. There are also a handful of years from the 1800s where there is no record of what Phil predicted. Meteorologists with NOAA compared U.S. national temperatures with Phil's forecast over a 10-year span and determined he is only right about 40% of the time. And even though groundhogs might not be able to predict the weather, they have other benefits. Most people are really ticked off about groundhogs because they mess up the soil. They actually help the soil because they bring more nutritious soil up as they're digging their burrows and mines. So we in Northeast PA should appreciate them just for their mining ability. Lehman Sanctuary is a nonprofit here in Lehman Township. Schools and community groups come out all year round to learn about watersheds, rain gardens, and wildlife habitats. Chris Miller is the founder and director of the sanctuary and is always happy to discuss groundhogs, especially this time of year. They're very intelligent in that they, um, they foster their young they have this amazing communication ability. They, they whistle and they give off warnings through different kind of variables of their whistling. That's why groundhogs are sometimes called whistle pigs. Miller says he has a few groundhog burrows here on the sanctuary's property, but he hasn't spotted any groundhogs recently. He thinks within the next month or so, they'll start to come out and become vocal. And by May and June, there will be babies. I, I think it's just a really exciting fun tradition because it's about wildlife, it's about sea changings of seasons, it's about, you know, culture, you know, and it's about Puxatani, Pennsylvania, you know, we love that. Phil will make his prediction this morning right around sunrise at 728 and there will be lots of clouds this morning, which should mean he won't be able to see a shadow, meaning an early spring. But John and Mindy, last year, Phil predicted six more weeks of winter on February 2nd and then February was one of the warmest and least snowiest ever on record. Maybe it's more about the fun than the forecasting. I think so. I think so. More All about right. the tradition, I think. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Allie.